Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 6 October 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly writer Sabrina Jardim writes that the energy transition has the potential to dramatically increase the demand for steel. With local electricity grid constraints becoming more prevalent and given the global emphasis on decarbonization, the ongoing energy transition as well as load shedding is expected to present both opportunities and risks for the declining South African steel industry. The engineering news features focus on CIFS's 80th anniversary, where the Federation celebrates eight decades. Waste management, recycling and the circular economy, where lax regulation poses a threat to South Africa's e-waste initiatives. And Sassel, where a local manufacturer refurbishes and rebuilds a drill rig for Sassel Shondoni Mine. The Mining Weekly features focus on crushing, screening and milling, where a supplier notes that warranties are key to customer satisfaction and conveyors and components, where protection systems simplify safety. This week's business leader is Dineo Sequele, Group Human Resources Executive at Newton. And as this week's cartoon shows, as South Africa's 2024 election approaches, there is a huge incentive for the incumbents to ramp up spending and to announce new projects and initiatives. The problem is that there's insufficient money for any of this. No doubt some ministers will find ways to promise perfect weather despite the fiscal storm. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.